Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, the MLS team of the season came out today. The important ones that I want to get from the MLS is obviously going to be players like Nani, Martinez, Opara, uh, Pozuelo, and I believe it was Carlos Vela, right? So those are like the main ones that I'm looking at getting uh, for the reviews, but if we don't get them, obviously uh, it is what it is. So ladies and gentlemen, we have a sentimental card for me today because he is Portuguese, but missing some key stats and certain areas in regards to boosting him with a chemistry style but still a very cool card regardless right because it's Luis Nani's card ladies and gentlemen we're looking at a card that is five foot ten with high medium work rates five star five star okay does he have stamina 86 stamina usable usable stamina okay so he's five foot ten high medium work rates five star five star great start obviously with the card in regards to traits he actually has the outside foot shot trait as well as the flare trait which is great in regards to specific, we're looking at 97 acceleration with 83 sprint speed, but he has 83 finishing. So that's where the little weird thing uh, happens over there because he also has 88 balance, 85 reactions. As you guys know in this game, if the gameplay was consistently good, the dribbling would be perfectly fine. I wouldn't have to improve it. But because of how it is, you do have to improve it regardless, in my genuine opinion, right? So I'm kind of looking at this card, right? And there's different chemistry styles you can give it because of the stats that he has, right? And we'll be, we'll be taking a look at that here in a bit. But he does have 94 base attacking positioning with 93 finishing, 99 shot power, 99 long shots. All of that with outside foot shot trait is great. He actually has passing abilities as well with the high medium work rates, 5 foot 10 height. Um, dribbling wise, he should be good. I mean, I gave him a sniper chemistry style, but his dribbling should be phenomenal, right? Um, defending doesn't have any defending, obviously. And then stamina at 80 six is usable it should be like 88 nowadays for team of the season but 86 is definitely usable 99 aggression with 97 acceleration 83 sprint speed will definitely be very helpful especially since he is a 5 foot 10 player um and then we have strength at 73 so i mean the concept of this card the way that it's like working around there's different things you can do with it right because it really really depends on you right so Let's take a look at the chemistry styles for a card like Nani, because obviously I gave him the sniper chemistry style because look at his finishing. I want to give him that plus 15. I want to make him as responsive as possible in game. But with that chemistry style, in my opinion, you have to specifically use him in the cam position. But for a card that costs 83.4K, not too bad because Portuguese links are not that hard to get anyways, right? If you guys go for the fun concept, it's Portuguese, French, uh, Eng uh, English... English is okay, I think, nowadays. Brazil, you know, like, those countries are nice to link up with, right? So, in regards to what people gave him on football, they gave him a sniper, a hunter, a hawk. With the hunter chemistry style, guys, here's the thing about giving him this card, right? The hunter chemistry style will give him 93 sprint speed, as well as 88 finishing, and then you would just play with the dribbling as is. That wouldn't be a bad decision, because if you're using him in the left or right attacking mid positions... It's ideal to make sure that you have the sprint speed on the card, right? But like I said, I always aim for super responsive gameplay, and I'm not sure if the balance for base card stats is going to affect his dribbling in the general sense. So we are going to be trying him out with the sniper, so it's going to be interesting to see what his dribbling dynamic is, because if it's still really poor with the sniper chemistry style, then it's just one of those things you give a hunter to anyways, just to give him that pace, as well as that finishing boost to make the card more usable, right? Um, but... The way that we're going to be lined up in game is going to look like this, guys. We are going to be playing with the 4-2-3-1, and we're going to be using Nani in the cam position. Now, take into account that the way that Bruno Fernandes and Daniel James, the way that they move off the ball is very unique, so you're going to see a lot of different patterns with them. So um, I have to take that into consideration when looking at Nani's card in regards to aggress uh, aggressive attacking plays. So we're going to be using him in the cam spot with just the instruction of balance. We're going to see how he plays there. All right, boys, let's see how this card plays out. Let's see what his dribbling is like, actually. I'm kind of curious about that the most. Uh, gameplay's not good, so that's the first thing we do have to mention when reviewing these types of cards. So the animations of some of the skill moves he'll be doing is going to be slower. So we just have to take that into consideration for now, okay? So we are playing him in the cam position. So we're going to see how he ends up playing in that situation. I could actually see him moving to the left wing already. I'm not sure if it actually changed my tactics. So we just did right now, so we'll see what's up now. Um, it'll rotate eventually, but you can see he kind of sticks to that position for now. And then hopefully, as the game progresses, he actually rotates. There we go. Nice little goal there with Richardson. We'll take that. 
Okay, so now the team uh, rotated to the actual 4-2-3-1. Oh, good positioning there with him in the, in the cam position. We're going to get a nice little foul right there as well. I like that he kind of like went back to offer his support there. He's super aggressive over here from getting off the floor. Okay, what do you do over here when I pass away Charleston? Angled runs, that's good. Angled runs is okay with Nani because of the fact that he has the five-star weak foot. So if you end up shooting with this card on the sniper chemistry style... He'll actually take a decent shot from those angles. So that's not a bad run for him specifically to make, right? Nice little stop right there, actually, considering the gameplay situation. Faker Bone is always nice to be able to do. One of the five-star skills that are just effective. Ball roll flick, get inside. So I will say this, right? Uh, because of stuff like this, you need the sniper chemistry style, in my opinion. He'll be best utilized in the cam spot let's try a shot from there would have been actually decent too so you can see that the skill move once he does the second one it kind of becomes a little bit more sluggish but um yeah i mean just the way that he's behaving right now if i didn't have the sniper chemistry saw on him it would be very questionable to dribble with him so i feel like it's very important to use that on him i do really feel like the cam position is going to be the only usable one because of you know so just food for thought i think with this card Regardless of me not having the pace on the card, I will be trying him out on the sides as well. Uh, I just have to check my dude's tactics over here because I, he might have like different controller settings. But uh, yeah, I feel like with the time finishing is off, jockey system is manual, right stick switching. I think that's I think all that is right except for the oh, yeah late. Okay, good. Um, yeah, so far in the camp position, he's playing it like to his price range really well. In all fairness, right. How do you move off the ball over here? Okay, so he sticks to the middle over there, and he didn't make the aggressive run right there, which is perfectly fine. I didn't really expect him to, so that's pretty decent. Mm, see that? I feel like in that position right there, he should have 100% have made that run. I wonder if it's like a matter of like having more sprint speed where it would be more of a beneficial thing, you know? Yeah, that's good dribbling. That's uh, one of those mechanics right there is the L-Trigger shield animation when it comes to them touching the ball instantly. And in that situation, he did do a pretty good job of that. Touch and go. Like, that's... I need it. I need my players to do that constantly. Will you make that run right there? He does. Okay, good. I just wanted to analyze if he was going to do it, you know? Because it's very important that they do. Oh, I thought I almost scored that. Richardson just jumped over the ball for some reason. Yeah, so I think his off-the-ball movement so far in the cam position is very generic. So I feel like... I don't know. I, I have the sniper chemistry on him to compensate for the gameplay, but it might just be a situation where you might just have to use him on the sides and have him... Uh, just use him on the sides and just have him... Uh, it, like, improve his sprint speed, you know? Little shield. Body feint. His dribbling is like, his dribbling is okay, it's not too bad. It's not super responsive, but it's okay. Good off the ball movement. Let's try a first time shot from there, actually. Not a, not great shot power. Again, it's it's hard to do reviews sometimes for these cards because when the gameplay is this sluggish, it's, it's hard to determine whether or not it's the card or the game. But, uh, I mean, his off the ball movement so far in the cam position is okay. Um, I do feel like his balance and reactions part of his card for base card stats is affecting it a little bit, but I mean, it's not a card that costs like 150k, right? So, I mean, he's doing what he has to do so far. I do want to try him out on the sides now because I want to see if his off the ball movement is better there because if it is, then it's just one of those cards you have to give 100 chemistry style to because I wouldn't really... I wouldn't really use Nani in the striker position personally, even though we could definitely try him out there as well. Okay, how fast do you get into position here? He doesn't... He's not really aggressive to, like, utilize empty space. Like, you kind of have to, like, play off of his... You kind of have to play off of his uh, characteristics because his off-the-ball movement is not... I, I, wouldn't even, I wouldn't even consider it, like, baby meta so far. Um, but on the ball, he's, like, not that bad, right? So we're going to have to keep experimenting. 
First impression's not looking too good so far, though. Okay, so what does he do here? If I do this, I'm forcing the run over there. Which I don't really like to do. I like to just be able to... Um, I like to just be able to have the player do it himself. He kind of feels like a... Um, he almost feels like a medium low so far. Medium, medium. Like, he's not really doing too much right now. Okay, he starts to cut inside right there, which is good. Okay, a little bit of movement right there. Sticks to the top position, so he has a rotation policy with other players. I mean, the first thing that I can tell you guys, man, is that, like, if you use him on the sides, he just can't play there with the sprint speed that he has without the chemistry style. Like, he definitely requires it to get into positions quickly, but... It doesn't even feel like he tries to run into the right spots that much on the sides anyways. Because you have to understand, the sniper chemistry style, it still gives him the attacking positioning boost. Like, he does that cut inside right there. I just feel like if you if you do want to use him on the sides, you have to definitely use him uh, with the chem style. Like, he's just he just can't have a player with his sprint speed there. He needs to get into those positions quickly, you know? Five-star week for the cross goal. Okay, scores that opportunity. Nicely done. Nicely done. I don't know what goalkeeper he has because it wasn't a shot directly to the right side there. But uh, he was able to score regardless because of his five-star weak foot. It's just, uh, it's one of those cards though, guys, where if I were to use him, man, I, it would have to strictly be in the cam position. I don't know. We're going to have to keep experimenting. I really don't like his off the ball movement on the sides. It really, it just, it doesn't do it for me, man. It really doesn't do it for me. Look how he starts pushing to the top. Because Daniel James is in the middle. Touch again. Scores that opportunity. Nice. I have to experiment with him in the cam position again. I mean, let me see. Because if he has acceleration and sprint speed like that, what about the striker spot? Okay, so we try in. Ball roll touch. You gotta do the touch part to make the goalie react, right? It's just an interesting thing. I mean, here's the thing, guys, right? Bruno Fernandes in the cam position, he's absolutely incredible in the cam position. Like, just the way that he moves with his high, high work rates is mostly ideal. This is him in the, I think it's the right attacking position right now, and... Like, Nani doesn't touch that, you know what I'm saying? Like, I always I always used to tell this to people, I'm like, if Bruno Fernandes were to get, like, a Team of the Season card or, like, a Moments card, he would be crazy because he's incredible at the camp position. He just, he's missing, like, two or three really key stats to really make him good, but that player of the month, man, I still love it to this day because of the way that it moves off the ball with the high, high work rates. It was him, it was Messi. Messi is a really good camp, too, with his medium low. Um, yeah. Yeah, so because of the gameplay situation, guys, we're going to try him out again in the cam spot. Uh, we're going to leave his stamina as is because 86 stamina is just something you have to deal with. But uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and just try him out again in the cam spot. And we're going to analyze because sometimes you just got to get used to the card, right? But so far, I am going to tell you guys that his off the ball movement is not noticeably good. It's it's like usable. It's not bad. It's usable, you know, so we're going to try him on the cam position again. And uh, we're going to see what's up with that. Okay, that little bit of play right there was actually nice. His dribbling feels better in this game, so inconsistent gameplay is going to play a part of that for sure. How do you move off the ball here? Okay, so you start to occupy the striker position because Richardson's no longer there. Right? Ah, oh, I, I, I didn't do the roulette at the right angle. Roulette's not a good skill, but I just like to use it because it's like a, a footballing thing. Um... Okay, do you go back up here? How about go back down? Eh, it's not too bad there. Scoop turn because of the five-star skill moves is always a nice thing to be able to do, so that's good there. Ooh, nice finesse shot right there. 
Yeah, I'll get the angle. He has the stats to be able to make a nice finesse shot, so that's not too bad right there. All right, guys, so final verdict on the card. I think that the 83K price range for the card is very fair. I think it's very fair. I don't think it should be higher. I don't think it should be lower. I think what he offers in game at 83K being a five-star, five-star player with a sniper chemistry style playing through the middle or the sides, if you really want to use it with all the sprint speed, it's a fair price for it, in my opinion. However, do I think he's like this amazing card in the game? I don't, right? And I'll talk about a few things here and there, right? In regards to the sniper chemistry style, I still feel like because of his characteristics, it felt like his balance was affecting how fast he would move on the ball. Because when you're using someone like Daniel, Daniel James, who's smaller and has really good dribbling stats, the way that Daniel James moves across the pitch is super, super fast and responsive, even if your gameplay is not up to par. I don't really feel like Nani does that too well, but it's not terrible. It's actually decent, right? With the sniper chemistry style. If you want to use this card on the sides with the hunter chemistry style, because you need it, the sprint speed is an absolute must on this card, as well as the attacking positioning, then it is a completely mandatory thing. But he is going to be a hybrid between cutting inside and also being on the sides as well. In regard, in regards to the shooting, guys, uh, the reason why I don't shoot too often with these cards when I review them is because the shooting in FIFA is very linear. You have to go for the near post. You know, even the shot that I scored with this five-star weak foot across goal, it wasn't directly to the side. It was more to the middle. So if the guy had a better goalkeeper, he would have saved that opportunity from a shot that should be going 100% in, in the times. At 98, finishing 99 shot power and 94 composure. So that's why when I talk to you guys about shooting, it's better to just use cards that can just, you know, hit that near post, ball roll touch, all that kind of stuff, right? If you use the sniper chemistry style on him, he has to be played in the middle. If you use the hunter chemistry style or the engine, you could play him in the middle or the left side, but you will be sacrificing for the finishing a little bit. But, you know, at 88, it's not bad. It's just the dribbling. The dribbling would be okay, if you got the best version of gameplay in this game constantly, but because you don't, you kind of have to compensate for it, uh, in my opinion. So I'm definitely going to get the card at some point because he's Portuguese, so it doesn't really matter to me regardless. Again, guys, the price range for the quality that he offers in game is a good price range. If he was 150K, 160K, 170K, no, I would say I would say absolutely not. He, he doesn't... 170K, there's players I got for 170K that are just amazing in this game, right? He doesn't even feel like that but he definitely feels like the value that he's offering so uh or that they're offering so uh yeah hopefully you guys enjoy this review i'll catch you guys for the next one peace out dudes love you guys